Would it even be a um, beer sarge beer review if I didn't do at least two beer reviews? Stop that! Stop it! Uh, yeah, let's get into another one. Hey guys, welcome back to Beer Reviews with the Beer Sarge. It is a bit chilly still. Um, it's, it might be spring, but it's actually still fucking cold. Um, so I thought I'd do another beer review while I'm out here in the freezing cold. Uh, this one is from uh, Shining Peak Brewery, Shining Peak, and it's called The Scarecrow. And I, I picked this up um, pretty much because of the label, and I also picked it up because while I am a big fan of hazy IPAs and hazy, you know, everythings, uh, I do like a nice clean uh, West Coast every now and then, and this was, or is, a West Coast IPA, so I'm hoping it's not so clear. Um, it should be. But anyway, Shining Peak. Um, the the Bear Sarge is always a, uh, steadily declining, uh, like the rest of his body. It's just wearing out. So you'll have to forgive me when I squint and squint at these, this, uh, squint and squint, if I squint and squint at this fucking writing to try and read it. Um, but we'll give it a go. Well, widely disliked because of how similar his fictional characters were to actual Hawara locals, South Taranaki author Ronald Hugh Morrison seemed mostly unfazed, focusing on his vices instead. His biggest concern was that his literary works would go unnoticed until after he was dead, which ultimately rang true as most of his works were published posthumously. Oh, that's a bit of a bummer. Poor old fella. The Scarecrow, a de depraved story of murderous misfortune, was one of four feature films made of Morrison's works. Unfortunately, The Scarecrow couldn't deter the inevitable pff, dirty bird with Ronald's historical house eventually being demolished to make way for Hawara's new KFC. Wow! Interesting. It is interesting because I've just read that and I had no idea. Um, my family is from the Hawara region and pff, surprisingly uh, we have Morrisons in, in our family. I might have to do some research. There's another thing for me to do. But anyway, so this is a 7% uh, West Coast IPA by Shining Peak. They are in, uh, well are they in Hawara? Doesn't actually say on here, but they probably are. New Plymouth, uh, the larger town eh, so not really from Hawara but they are, I guess they are local to the Taranaki region. Um, Anyway, enough about fucking authors and stuff. Let's get into this. This is a bit beaten up. This can. It looks like it's gone through a bit of a had a bit of a hiding on the way to the to the shop. So hopefully, when I open this, it doesn't sprout over the roof. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's get this in here. Troop glass. Oh, look at that. That's crystal clear. Crystal clear. Quite light. Very light. Now we're going to get it all in because we know that the trooper glass is a pure pint glass, which means we'll get out four. Look at that! Look at that! You can fucking see through it. That's what I like. Like my hazies, but I also like crystal clear beers. Okay, so this is a seven percent, so I'm expecting a bit of a boom in the mouth from the old from the alcohol. Um, let's see what the stuff's like. Oh my god. Wow, that's got... Shit, that's almost got... Um, it's almost got like fruit burst fucking smell like when you open a packet of fruit burst. That smell that hits you, that's pretty much what it smells like. That's really, really nice. So let's, let's see if the taste fills the mouth with a multitude of flavours.
Oh, that is good. That is good. The um, the seven percent. I think it's a seven. The seven percent is. Uh, you can tell that it's a seven percent, but it's not over. It's not overbearing. It's a. It's it's not a. Ooh, get you in the right there. Um, where it's nice and warm. This is very very drinkable. At a se at seven. Yes, that is nice. That is nice. So that's the Scarecrow West Coast IPA from Shining Peak. Um, this was oh fuck, I think it was only eight ninety nine because I looked at it and thought, oh, it's a bit, it's a bit cheap for a not cheap, but it's a bit in, more less expensive than some of the uh, some of the beers that sit at like four forties. So I think it was eight ninety nine. At, uh, at the Lickland. There you go. Shining Peak. Shining Peak, the Scarecrow. Give that a, give that a crack. There you go. There's another beer review from the Beer Search.